Hey guys, it's Keely, and as you can tell from the title, I have some very exciting news. I met Daniel Radcliffe, aka Harry Potter, and he's also in a ton of other movies that I really, really enjoy. But so many people have been asking me how that happened, so I thought I would sit down and have a little story time for you so you can know all of the details and what he was like and how I even got this opportunity. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. If you don't know, I've been studying abroad in London, England since January, and I am taking a theater class. And on the very first day of class in January, our theater professor was telling us all about the different plays we will be seeing over the semester and we see about one to two plays a week and then at the end of the semester he got to tell us about Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead and he was like oh by the way Daniel Radcliffe is in this and I literally screamed in the middle of class and I was just so excited that I might get to see him and he was like it's not for sure yet but odds are looking really good so I was like, okay, don't get your hopes up too high. Like it might not happen, it's okay. So the entire semester, it was kind of in the back of my mind, trying not to get too excited about it. But as the weeks got closer to the date that it was supposed to happen, I went and looked at our schedule that we have and I didn't see the play on it anywhere. And I kept checking, kept checking. And I just like came to the conclusion that we weren't gonna be able to go, that it didn't work out. And I was just like, you know what? Odds were I wasn't gonna like see him or meet him anyway. So anyway, my life didn't change from that point. I was just a little sad because I was so excited to see him in his play. But when we were in another class, my friend comes up to me and was like, so are you excited about seeing Daniel Radcliffe tomorrow? And I was like, hold on a minute, hold on. We are going to that play? And he was like, yeah, we're going tomorrow. And I went and looked at the schedule and sure enough, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead was on the schedule and I was so excited but also nervous because I only had a day to prepare myself to see Daniel Radcliffe but also my friend went to a different play before and got to meet some of the actors in the play so I was like well maybe that can happen maybe I can do that and he was like yeah just go stand by the stage door at the end of the play and see if you can meet him and I was like, I am ready to throw elbows and fists to get up to meet Daniel Radcliffe. I am ready for this. I have trained my whole life for this. But anyway, let me describe what the play is about. It is set in Hamlet's time, and it's about Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, who are two characters in the play Hamlet. And so it's about like what they're doing while Hamlet is going on. It's really, really funny, and it was really, really, really cool to see Daniel Radcliffe play like the full part. He was so talented, as was his co-star. And if you have a chance to go see this play I definitely recommend it it was really really cool 1010 would recommend but anyway after the play I was just okay when the curtain opened and like Daniel Radcliffe was on stage I almost passed out up in the balcony because I was like I am seeing Daniel with my own two eyes and I never thought this would happen so I was just happy enough to see a play that he was in but me and my friends after the play ended we had this plan to zoom out of there as soon as the battles happened and the encores and whatever and we just like got out of our seats and raced downstairs and we went outside and we were heading to the stage door but then a few people were lined up by the theater door and we were like um what's happening what's going on and this lady comes up to us and was like is this the line for Daniel Radcliffe and we were like yeah it is and sure enough we were like 10th in line maybe I was in the first group that got to go in to meet him and I was so impressed with how they did this they were so organized with it they would send a group in to the lobby you all got to meet him and talk to him and take pictures and autographs and everything and then they would send a next group in and so they were just very organized and it wasn't like a really quick thing like they actually let you talk to Daniel you could get two autographs you could get a picture and it was just so cool so I go in there and before I see him, I'm like shaking this bad. Like honestly, I thought I was having a stroke or something. I was shaking so bad the whole time I was praying. I was like, Jesus, please help keep me calm because like I need to be calm, cool, and collected when I meet Daniel Radcliffe. So he comes out and we're all behind this rope and he's like, hi. And he just like lit up as soon as he saw all of us standing there. And so he went to each person one by one and it was just incredible because he was so 
so kind and filled with so much joy. But here is um, the signature from Daniel Radcliffe on his picture. So cool. It was just really, really amazing. And I'll insert our selfie that we took. And basically he comes up to me and he was like, hi, how are you? And I was like, I am so good. I was like, by the way, you did so fantastic. I really enjoyed it. And he was like, thank you. That means a lot. And then I was like, I just have to say, I have been a fan since I was about 11 years old. I'm just a really huge fan, and I'm just so honored to meet you. And he was like, wow, thank you. That means so much to me. So glad you could be here. And then we took a selfie, and it was great fun, and he went on to the next person. So, like, you actually got to have a conversation with him. And it just blew my mind how he's been doing this since he was 11 years old, but he still got so excited to meet fans. And the people that were there were telling us that even on a double night show, he would come out and meet fans after being so exhausted. He would do it time and time again. And he just seemed so happy to meet us. And it was just the coolest thing. It's one thing to meet one of your favorite people. It's another thing if they're actually genuinely kind and humble and down to earth like he was. And it was, it was just amazing. And I just, I want y'all all to meet him because he was just so kind and it was definitely everything that I had hoped for growing up watching Harry Potter. It was, it was a dream come true and I can't believe that that happened to me, but I hope you enjoyed the story time. If you have any questions about what he was like, how tall he was, all that stuff, you can feel free to leave them down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!